So we all know that the Barbarian has been getting a lot of nerfs lately, but I'm still here to show you that the Whirlwind Barb is great for leveling a Diablo 4 from 1 to 50. So let's break down everything that you need to know and how to play Whirlwind from leveling 1 to 50 in Diablo 4. Let's do it. So over in our skill tree, guys, this build is going to be a Whirlwind Bleed type build we're going to be very very fast and we're going to be very very strong dealing out massive amounts of damage so first things first we're going to go lunging strike into battle lunging strike the reason that we're doing lunging strike is because it really closes the gap in the distance between us and the enemy so we can non-stop attack and fill up our fury so that way we can whirlwind and it also gives some nice bleeding effects Next, we're doing five points into Whirlwind, all the way up into Ferocious Whirlwind. Yes, you're going to ask yourself, well, why not Whirlwind? Because it does 30 times increased damage. Well, we are going to be bleeding, and we're going to be applying some really good effects. So, let me explain. Now, we're going to go down to Pressure Point. Your core skills have a chance to make enemies vulnerable. This is very important. Then, we're going to come down, and what's a Barbarian build without all three shouts? So, we're going to be taking Rally and Cry into Tactical Rally, Rally and Cry. To generate fury and additional resource generation challenging shout down into tactical challenging shout so we can get three fury each time we take damage we're going to be up close and personal we should always be hit so this should always go off next we come down to our brawling skills and we're going to be taking war cry this is going to make us unstoppable and give us berserking which is really really cool and then if six enemies are around we're going to get 10 percent increased additional damage now, our passives here, we're taking everything to buff our shouts because the shouts are the most important part of our build. So we're doing Booming Voice, so the uh, shouts durations at, uh, last 24% longer. Ra raid Leader, your shouts also heal you, uh, heal allies 3% of the maximum life per second. And then we're doing uh, Gutterall Yell, your shouts cause as means to deal less damage. Very, very important. Then we're doing Swiftness for increased move speed. Like I said, we want to be fast. We only need one point in quick impulses to reduce uh, can CC impairing effects, which is good. Then we're taking aggressive resistance for damage reduction while we are berserking, which we'll get from our shout. And then we have prolific fury while berserking. Fury generation is increased by 18%. Very, very good. Now we're coming down to our weapon mastery skills. We're going to be doing three points into pit fighter for more damage. Uh, then we're taking slaying strike for more damage against injured enemies. One point into hamstring. This is the key reason why we're doing bleed. So all of our bleeding effects slow enemies by 10% is to get a crowd control effect. Next, we're doing two points in a thick skin for that way when we take damage, we fortify. Uh, three into counter offensive. So while we're fortified over 50%, we deal 20% increased damage. Then we're coming down for our ultimates. We're taking Call of the Ancients all the way up to Supreme Call of the Ancients. This is a very, very good um, ability in ultimates while leveling. In most cases, I really don't take a lot of ultimates, but this one is really, really good because it summons down three different ancient warriors that are going to fight for you. You're going to gain fury, enemies are slowed, and then they can also be stunned if you use upheaval. Now we're taking three points into heavy-handed, which we're going to be using two-handed weapons, so we get a 15% increased critical strike damage. Very important. Now, down for our key passives, we're going to be doing unconstrained. Increase Berserk's minimum duration by 5 seconds and increase its bonus damage by 25%. I like this one. However, you could always do Unbridled Rage. Core skills deal 135% more damage, but they cost 100% more fury, which would mean that our Whirlwind would be doing a crap more damage, but it would cost 50 fury per second. However, I find that doing it this way with uh, Unconstrained is a little bit more consistent. You don't run out as, as fury as quickly and you're able to sustain and fight monsters a little bit longer so that is the build guys all we're going to do is run in and hit all of our shouts we lunge and strike if we have to and we're going to be doing um whirlwind to just kill everything you pop call of the ancients if you have a big huge mob and that's it so pop everything destroy everything that you can it's really really strong even for leveling Man, we are just dealing a crap ton of damage. Notice how our fury just like does not run out. Unbridled makes your fury run out. However, I guess you could argue that it will uh, make dealing enough damage to the enemies worth it. I don't think so, but you can always do it. Then we pop Fury of the Ancient. Boom. Big mobs and elites. Bring everything down. Absolutely fantastic. Kill the elites. Boom. 
Again, with Whirlwind, it's a very, very strong build. It's just very Fury. You know, it costs a lot of Fury to use the build, but it's still very strong. And you see how, like, we're a good distance away, and we can lunge and strike in. It really just closes the gap. Now, if you didn't want to use Call of the Ancients, you could do Leap. Leap instead is very, very strong. You could definitely do that. Now, if you really don't like the bleed effect and you just want the bleed effect on Lunging Strike, we can swap this to Violent Whirlwind and you will see the difference in the damage. Even with this, let's pull, let's pull a mob really fast. Let's pull a bigger mob. Just to showcase. Kill absolutely everything. Violent is really, really good. Just absolutely dominates. Either version is super strong. And then when you run out of fury, I want to show you with Vi see the uh, see how much we close the gap on lunging strike. It's to help monsters just not get away from us, which is very, very important. Again, pop our shouts. We just kill absolutely everything. Very, very strong. It's really good for Whirlwind or for the Barbarian, even though the Barbarians did get nerfed a lot. So we are done with that. Now let's go over the gear and show you everything that you need. There's only a few items that you actually need for the build, which really doesn't take away from Whirlwind. It's pretty basic how because it doesn't necessarily need anything, but there is a few that help. So we're going to be doing uh, aspect of the expectant. So attacking enemies with a basic skill increase the damage of our next core skill, which is very important. Then we're going to be taking um, root fist of the dire whirlwind. So it's root fist, critical strikes with whirlwind. It, um, Whirlwind's critical strikes chance is increased by 7% for each second it's channeled up to 21%. Very, very huge. Okay. Over to our rings, we're going to have shouts generate 2 to 4 fury per second while active. And then we, we're going to have, uh, whenever we cast a shout, skill, your cooldowns reduced. This is just normal legendary, so you only need this one. And then outside of that, you can do ancestral spinel. Critical strikes with core skills increase your attack speed. So you have a few different legendaries that really, really work for the build. And again, you don't need anything super crazy. Our expertise of choice is going to be two-handed sword expertise. When using any weapon, 12% of direct damage you deal is inflicted as bleeding. This is really, really insane, okay? As we get it up to the very high ranks at rank 10, you're going to deal 30% increased damage over five seconds after killing the enemy which is really, really cool. I think this is arguably the best one. There is some conversations that are made for when you're dual wielding or something like that, maybe two-handed axe, so you deal more damage against vulnerable enemies. But sword seems to be the consensus for the best one, but I really do like the two-handed axe expertise. So that's the expertise that we have, guys. That is Whirlwind uh, leveling 1 to 50. And again, you guys can change any of the uh, skills here, if you want to dual wheel, bludgeoning, slicing, whatever you want, you can keep it on auto select. That works really good too. So that is Barbarian Whirlwind leveling from one to 50 guys. Like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.